But when you read a book, there's not a thousand dollar microphone in front of your mouth recording every single sound you make, and when you stumble over a word or a name, and now if you're recording it, you have to like act it, right? And you have to make it interesting for people to listen to. So suddenly, reading the book is a lot more cumbersome and difficult than you would think. So I've, I've been asked to, to use several audiobooks, and, uh, and I have been asked to do some, some voice work for some different things. So yeah, I, the, the, the opportunities are still there. There are. You guys, I think my time is up, isn't it? The people in charge here are going, stop talking, babe, stop talking. So listen, you guys are gonna come over and see me, right? I'm going right over the table. Can I just tell you? Let me tell you something. I am so grateful for you. I am so grateful. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for your appreciation of the work that I've done over the years. And thank you so much, especially for being here. Um, I love you guys. God bless you. I hope to meet you in just a minute. Thank you. Must have been exhausting, especially like with uh, just stage comments. Even like 10 minutes left, and you're just like, <laughs> did I hit you? Okay, we're good. <laughs> yeah, we didn't have to work out, because that usually was the workout, working. I mean, you would do two or three fights a week, so it was like, you would always, um, you know, get a, a really good workout. But yeah, it was crazy. I mean, we had, I had a very good step double. I had a couple of them. Um, one of them was a, a, a Japanese man. He was short like me. But he was probably the most amazing out of all of them. So I like, I love when in the fight because he, like those guys, like they defy gravity. Like they would, I mean, they would kick and spin and they would just stay up in the air. It was ridiculous. And then uh, another one was a, a girl by the name of Bridget Riley, who at the time was the kickboxing champion in the world. So she was like hardcore. I mean, she could beat up everybody in the room. Like she was amazing, but she was the Yellow Ranger. <laughs> able to talk about 15 former Power Rangers and joining it. It's not a Power Ranger movie. It's, uh, we're vigilantes, we're assassins, um, we're kicking butt, you know, um, and it's it's very um, action-driven, but also dramatically driven, and, and here recently we've been able to get in front of some TV networks, and we're kind of pitching it to them, but, you know, ultimately we'll probably do a movie for it, and it, it's been a really cool journey. Um, we've We've really learned a lot about low budget filmmaking as well as, you know, being able to pitch to a network. It's completely different. So, um, but we're super excited because most of us haven't worked together. Like, you know, we do comic comics together all the time, but we've never actually been on screen together. Even like Walter and Austin, when they did the episode of Power Rangers where we kind of, you know, exchanged powers, we weren't actually, they weren't actually there. They used stunt doubles. They had already left the show. And so I didn't meet them until probably I met Austin maybe five or six years ago when we started doing Comic Con. Same thing with Walter. I probably met Walter probably eight years ago. But it's it's one of those things where, you know, we've got people from season one all the way into like some of the current seasons and it's it's kind of fun. Um, but I'm working on that and we're um, always working on a bunch of stuff. Like every year it seems like something pops up Power Ranger related where they want us to come back and or, or do something with the I, I know that lately we've been working a lot with Boom Comics. And they've got a whole new series, which I love. You know, they did Go-Go Power Rangers, and they're doing Shattered Grid, and now it's Necessary Evil. And so Aisha and Rocky and um, Adam. And they were all And I was shopping with one of them, and we had this glittery, fancy, like, shiny wrestler pants. So I was like, I'm making women love that. So again, I'll be like, I need that fabric for this one thing. It inspired my cosplay. I'm a broke college student and I eat nothing but ramen noodles, so I can't do that. <laughs> uh, so I definitely can't. <laughs> Straight up and 